a very good morning to all of you and a warm welcome. All of us gathered here are here to celebrate innovation, celebrate the spirit of innovation and ask ourselves what is possible, what can we do? And we picked up this topic, making positive impact in the Anthropocene, because what else is more important when the discourse is moved from climate change to climate action? In 2020, we announced a new purpose, which was to reimagine energy for our people and our planet, supported by a new ambition, which was to be net zero by 2050 or sooner. I believe India is uniquely positioned to make this transition to clean energy with all our efforts, while continuing to provide affordable energy for upliftment and development of our people. We must be able to actually mobilize compute and, and, and of course, talent and capital for this to happen. Because this is something which is also very important, of which compute is a geopolitical issue. Obviously, if we have replaced everything on the planet, the global rate of natural extinctions have accelerated in the past 50 years. And, uh, I mean, sorry, in the past uh, 10,000 years, and, and just a quick graph. And one thing I want to point out to all of you is in all of these graphs you would have seen, Basically, there's a major acceleration in everything that we've been doing. Since, the 1900, since 1900 and then further from 1950, all of these processes that are transforming Earth have literally exploded. Uh, now, this year's theme uh, of, of uh, sort of positively impacting the Anthropocene uh, is a very relevant theme uh, to what is happening with respect to the creation of this Startup 20 as well. So what Dr. Gupta was saying, all those environment quality consciousness that we have adapted, if we can somehow converse them with our lifestyle and with our uh, thinking processes, I think we can completely rechange and reshape our construction and development process. We have two crises. We, we're dealing with a climate crisis, but we're also dealing with a biodiversity crisis. And both of these are linked. So climate change is linked to biodiversity loss, and both of these negative can have the potential to negatively impact human well-being and quality of life. And you cannot focus on one while ignoring the other. And that's what we've been trying doing for the most part is we've just been focusing on climate change and trying to mitigate climate change but this is coming at a cost of biodiversity and we need to stop and think about our approaches going ahead. Research is shaped or solutions are shaped by constraints in different registers around us. The products that we unleash into society or the research that we put in there also creates in turn constraints that we may or may not be able to deal with. Constraints can create challenges, which, which makes things creative and I think which drives the entire startup vibe, so to speak. It is steadily increasing. And when we started, for example, in near shore, we would, like a temperature of 32 degrees, 33 degrees would be high. Now, 35 degrees is a regular occurrence. It's two degrees, which may not seem like much on land, but on the ocean, that's dramatic. Uh, because these organisms don't see the kind of fluctuations we see between night and day. Uh, and, and because sea temperature is supposedly constant. 
but it is increasing if they don't take about climate change adaptation strategy today what will happen to them because we are all trying to uh, reduce the temperature of planet but still last year the all the biggest fossil fuel company made the highest profit in the history so with that information at least we should start realizing that uh, we have to start focusing on adaptation and resilience equally when we look or uh, consider anthropocene we are looking at a holistic approach you know that encompasses scientific research policy development technological innovation and a commitment to foster a sustainable and equitable global society our role as facilitators of this approach of one health is to make it a planetary health uh, centric approach and if a solution if a technology and innovation is good for one domain of one health it has to be good for other domains as well we'd like to start with an announcement of a new partnership for ikp as some of you might be aware ikp is entering into a partnership with uh, Montgomery County, Maryland, United States. And this MOU is going to enable uh, IKP affiliated companies seeking to enter and access US markets with a lot of uh, support and similarly it will also be a bridge for companies in Montgomery County county to partner with IKP affiliated companies. We are very interested in opportunities and the reason we're here is to expand trade relations between India and between the United States particularly in tech fields you know pure tech and also biotech and we've brought companies with us so we come not just seeking Indian companies that would like a footprint in the United States but we we brought companies that are looking for a footprint in India and we think the best way you do trade relations is when trade relations are bilateral I have a certificate um to the IKP Knowledge Park in recognition and appreciation of your support from Montgomery County, Maryland's 2023 trade mission to India, your organization's willingness to support relationship building and partnership opportunities among IKP startups and alumni and Montgomery County will lead to business growth, new jobs and technology innovation in both regions, which will benefit businesses and residents in our jurisdictions and around the world. And thank you very much for joining us. If we have to talk of one institution in India that has shown the power of partnerships for building innovation, it is Bayrak. We want to felicitate and recognize three partners we work closely with, and they've been um, they're doing amazing work. Always a pleasure to be a part of uh, this very important annual flagship event, IKMC. The theme that they have chosen to focus on this year is very, very apt because uh, when we look at the way human behavior is interfering with all kinds of uh, nature-driven activities and what kind of havoc it is causing, it is time that science, knowledge, takes control of that. Congratulations to all the awardees, all the award winners once again, and uh, thank you very much for inviting me for this ceremony. <laughs>